Are you wondering why BNB is exploding right now and why many people are talking about the Binance Smart Chain? Well, this is the video for you as I'll just give you a quick walkthrough about what the Binance Smart Chain is all about, how you can get started with it if, you, if that's something that you want to do, as well as giving you maybe a few tips on what kind of tools you can use um, to explore the Binance Smart Chain blockchain. With that out of the way, I think it's pretty cool that I, mean, I released a video back on the 31st of December 2020. And the crazy thing is there that I actually um, had a price prediction for the BNB coin. And at the time, on the 31st of December 2020, I think my price prediction for 2021 was $100 per BNB. And we blasted past that amount and I think we did a 10x since then so the current price is $313 I think it topped out at around $340 and back in I think December 2020 the price was at around $35 $37 something like that so nearly 10x pretty crazy if you ask me now back to what Binance Smart Chain is all about so it's actually pretty interesting. You might have already heard about the Binance chain and now there's also the Binance smart chain. Those are two different um, blockchains and I think it's interesting and important to know what they are actually are and how they differentiate themselves from each other. So you've got the, the, the Binance chain here on the left hand side highlights um, BEP2 token. This is similar to the ERC20 token on the Ethereum blockchain. And you've got these um, Peggy coins. Uh, it reminds me of Peggy coins, but basically it stands for pegged coins and, and it's synthetic coins that um, follow the coins of other assets. So you would have like a, a Peggy BTC or a Peggy ETH, and it's basically a, a synthesized asset, a coin on the Binance chain that is following the price of BTC on the blockchain or ETH on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, proof of stake and BFD, um, governance, voting, listing, order book matching and cross chain transfer. Then on the right hand side, you've got the Binance smart chain. So like the name entails smart, it, it uses smart contracts, very similar to Ethereum. However, Ethereum 1.0 is running on proof of work and the Binance Smart Chain is using um, proof of stake, proof of staked authority. So a bit of a different variation of just normal proof of stake. It allows for cross chain transfers. So um, trading between different chains. It's got cross chain contract event, uh, block time of five seconds and EVM compatible. So EV EVM stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine. That means that you can use the Binance Smart Chain with um, Ethereum dApps, should those dApps actually um, support um, the Binance Smart Chain, but it's possible. And the other thing is that you can also actually pour Ethereum dApps onto the Binance Smart Chain, that's thanks to this EVM. So to put it in simple terms, the Binance Chain is basically a decentralized exchange and Binance Smart Chain is a smart contract enabled blockchain, very similar to the Ethereum blockchain. Now, if you want to interact with the Binance Smart Chain, it's actually really simple. And you can already start with a wallet such as the MetaMask wallet. You can also use a trust wallet, which also allows you to connect with the Binance Smart Chain. And I'm going to show you how you can set this up in just a bit because you will have to change network. So normally the MetaMask is on the Ethereum mainnet. And if you've never changed it before, it might just be a little bit weird at the beginning, but you can actually change the settings and choose another network, not the Ethereum mainnet, but the Binance mainnet or the Binance Smart Chain testnet. So what I recommend that you do is first of all, install MetaMask if you haven't already done that. I recommend that you go to the description in the link below to get all of this information that you can just follow along in the video. So what you wanna do is scroll down 
until you find mainnet and network name smart chain. So what you want to do is you click on the little fox icon and you click on this drop down and then you click on special RPC. Sorry, my MetaMask is in German. And then here, what you want to do is under network name, you type in smart chain, you add the new RPC URL under RPC URL, the chain ID 56, and then the currency symbol is BNB. And then you click on save. And then when you scroll down and click on the drop down, you can see that you will have this BSC smart chain. So this is the smart chain. Now, what you can also do is you can add the test net. If you'd like to try out the Binance Smart Chain without using some real funds, you can use some test net funds just to try it out and get a feel of what it's like using the Binance Smart Chain. So you just go down and you, you can do the same steps, but using the test net information. So you've got the Smart Chain test net, the new RPC URL. So you do exactly the same things as I just showed you here and add the new RPC URL here. The chain ID is different, it's 97, but the symbol is BNB. Then when you've done that, what you can do is you actually select the Binance Smart Chain if you want to test it out first. Then you can actually head over to the first site that we actually were upon. And then you can actually click here and select the testnet faucet. And this will actually give you some pretend tokens that you can play with. So when you're on this, you can actually select give me BNB. You actually click on the MetaMask wallet. Make sure you've got BSC Smart Chain Testnet. It doesn't really matter too much as the address will stay the same. You click on this, you paste it, and then it will give you BNB. You just have to wait for a bit. You can select one BNB. Now I've already um, gotten some BNB from the Binance Smart Chain faucet, so I will have to wait for a bit. If you've got some BNB tokens from the testnet, you can actually head over to testnet.bscscan.com. You can type in your address and look for it. And here I don't have any BNB tokens, but I received some tokens from the testnet, and those are some DAI tokens. So this is pretty cool. Um, at some point, I might show you how it actually works using some actual BNB, but at the moment, Binance is a bit overloaded and I couldn't withdraw any BNB from Binance, which is a bit of a shame, but maybe in the future. If you want to actually look at the real mainnet, um, Binance Smart Chain, you can just go over to bscscan.com. You can see um, the latest blocks and you can also look for different smart contracts on the Binance chain. So what's also really cool is that you can create your BEP20 token with um, this pretty cool interface. So you can just create your, your token, you put all the information here and yeah, you just create your token in just a few minutes. I think that's pretty interesting. Not really sure what the use is it. If you want to find out what the top DeFi apps are for the Ben and Smart Chain at the moment, you can go to dapredder.com. You can filter for BSC. And then here you can find the different applications that are running on Binance. Like I mentioned before, many of them are basically copy paste from Ethereum. There's not a lot of work put into most of them. And it's, it's like Binance is now just like pumping out DeFi apps left and right. Many of them are taking on this, the meme, vegetable meme game. So many of the DeFi apps at the moment running on the Binance Smart Chain are basically copy pasta from Ethereum. And yeah, it's like Binance is a factory. They are throwing a lot of money into this Binance Smart Chain and just, yeah, basically pumping out DeFi apps left and right. It, it's crazy. So if we look at the first one, PancakeSwap, um, it's got uh, 999 million in volume users plus 52,000 users so still quite low amount if you compare with ethereum DeFi apps so let's look at pancake swap open that let's bet it's a copy of something okay this is this definitely looks like a copy of um sushi swap 
So yeah, it looks like a copy of Sushi Sushi. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a copy of Sushi Swap, but with a lot less functionality. So let's go back to Pancake Swap. Um, you can do the most things like trade, exchange tokens. This interface looks very similar to Uniswap. Let's maybe look at some other ones. You've got Auto Farm, Bakery Swap. I mean, all of those names. It's it's like they're trying to memeify the whole DeFi space, like it was happening on Ethereum, but it's like forced. So let's look at Auto Farm. What is this? Open DAP. No clue what this is. This looks something similar to Yearn Finance Votes Swap Legacy. So basically, a, a Yearn Finance Yearn Finance clone or attempt at cloning Yearn Finance. Let's look at some other ones. Goose Finance <laughs> Ape Swap. I mean, where did it come up with these names? So I realize Binance Smart Chain is new, and they have to like kind of fill it with DeFi apps to make it enticing. They have to build up this whole liquidity farming stuff to bring people on it um so i do understand that so let's look at goose finance so basically a clone of of sushi shop it, it exactly it looks very similar to pancake swap so nothing different about it basically the same thing now i wonder if all of this total value locked is real if it's basically binance putting that value there just to make it more enticing for people to enter onto the Binance Smart Chain. Um, let's look at the other one that I opened, which was an ape swap. Let me bet it's exactly the same as Goose Swap. It's, it's probably the same. It's, it's exactly the same, exactly the same. So at the moment, I wouldn't be too worried about Binance Smart Chain taking too much value away from Ethereum. They're going to have to bring in a lot of devs independent developers, not just Binance devs to, so to start creating actual DeFi apps, not just clones from um, the Ethereum ecosystem. So yeah, that was the short introduction into the Binance smart chain, the DeFi space surrounding the Binance smart chain. If I find some dApps that are actually worth covering, I'm going to make a video separate to that. If you've been using the Binance Smart Chain successfully and you've got some dApps you think I should check out, leave them in the comments down below. With that said, I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.